All right, guys, it's Into the Stars. And I got a lead from a subscriber, and I want to thank that subscriber for this lead, that the Isis Urania Temple from the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn was actually founded in 1888. And as you guys know, we've been doing a lot of work on 88. And so I looked a little bit more into this, and of course the roots point directly back to the crown, the royal family, and the Queen of England. Um, this is just fascinating stuff, but it goes to the very root of what we're trying to find out with the number of 88. So I thought I would share this with you guys. Now, we're going to read through this. This may be a slightly longer video than most, but I want to make sure that we do this justice in, in uncovering the truth that uh, that exists here okay you guys so the Isis Urania temple was initially the first temple of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn there were three founders William Woodman William Westcott and McGregor Mathers okay so it says here in 1887 Westcott wrote Anna Sprengel whose name and address he received the decoding of the cipher manuscripts reply was purported to have been received with much wisdom and honorary grades of exempt adept were conferred upon Westcott, Mathers, and Woodman, as well as a charter to establish a Golden Dawn temple to work the five grades outlined in the manuscripts. So they discovered some manuscripts of ancient wisdom, and they were going to found a temple based on it. So in 1888, the Isis Urania Temple in London was founded. Now I've got a couple of different sources as to where this temple existed, but I think it's curious that we're not seeing any coordinates here or anything of where this is located in Wikipedia which tells me that they don't want us to know now this this website says that the first temple was at 17 Fitzroy Street in London okay so I we're gonna track these on Google Earth and I'm gonna show them to you but I just wanted to show you the different um, locations that they're saying where this temple occurred because of course I was looking for alignments in this but what I found was even more unsettling but this site talks about the Golden Dawn is best known in most influential modern magical order and though it lasted less than a dozen years its legacy was played has played a major role in the magical revival of the 20th century the order was founded in 1888 by Dr. William Westcott a London coroner and Samuel Liddell Gregor McGregor Mathers. It survived in its original form until 1903. Both Westcott and Mathers had a background in secret and magical orders, being Freemasons and members of the Rosicrucian order, Societis Rosicruciana in Anglia, among others. The story goes that Westcott was sent parts of a strange encrypted document by Woodford, a Mason and Hermeticist, who claimed to have found it in a London bookstall. Once Westcott had deciphered the manuscript, it turned out to be an outline for rituals and teachings of a magical order, with instructions to contact Sapiens Dominibiter Astris in care of Anna Sprengel in Hanover. Westcott did this and was told that he could that he could find an elementary branch of the Rosicrucian order in England. Mathers helped to craft workable rituals from outlines in this document, and the Golden Dawn was born. Now, you guys, this is very satanic stuff here, okay? The Bible instructs us, do not get involved in divination and things of that nature. And this is exactly what these people were doing. And you're going to see the roots to Egypt in here pretty soon here. Uh, so on March 1st, 1888, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn was established with the opening of the Isis Arena Temple at 17 Fitzroy Street in London. Its three chiefs were Westcott, Mathers, Woodman, and uh, the Supreme Magus of SRIA. Over the next eight years, over 300 initiates joined the order. So there's your eight again. So um, they were into individual magical training created by the Golden Dawn. Um, they linked the secret group, group of the World Order to the ritual work performed by initiates as part of their training and practice. The teachings of the Golden Dawn were diverse, including ceremonial magic, Kabbalah, inner alchemy, tarot, Enochian magic, astrology, divination, and Egyptian magic, all with the aim of performing the great work of self-realization. Okay, the order was arranged in a hierarchy of 11 degrees through which initiates could progress. 
the neophyte degree followed by 10 further degrees corresponding to the Sephiroth on the, Kab on the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. Prominent members of the Golden Dawn included Arthur Edward Waite, Aleister Crowley, and poet William Butler Yeats. Okay. So there's more information on the Golden Dawn. Now, this particular site states that they actually met at 86 St. James Street. Okay. And this is the building with the flag coming out of it. And we're going to look at that building in Google Earth in a minute. And we're going to look at the proximity of this building to Buckingham Palace, which is literally not even a mile. Now, here are some pictures inside this building at 86 St. James Street. And of course, there's the checkerboard floor, the pillars of Boaz, and everything else. Let's go to Google Earth and check this out. Now, this location here is the St. James Street address, which we just saw. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to go down to the street level. We're going to swing this around here. And this is the building here, you guys. Kind of looking up on it. Look at that patterning on there. Almost like a lizard. There's lots of... Uh, very fine work here in the uh, inlay. Now, at the end of the street is this building. There's a clock tower on it. Okay, now we're going to zoom out and I'm going to show you something very unsettling. Now, remember, this building is at St. James Street and this is Buckingham Palace and this is St. James Park Lake St. James Street St. James Park Lake the main park in front of Buckingham Palace now the red line that you're seeing is alignment that I did to see if Buckingham Palace aligned with anything and I have another video on that from long ago but if you do a search on Buckingham Palace or London we did an analysis on Buckingham Palace alignment. I believe it ran into some very interesting places. Now here's the alternative location of the original Golden Dawn at Fitzroy Street and it is about a mile from the 86 St. James address. But as you can see this St. James address is literally within yards. It's a quarter of a mile from Buckingham Palace It's interesting that it is 444 yards. So there's your 888 and your 444. This is fascinating. Now that I just discovered, I was not anticipating that, to the Buckingham Fountain. So in other words, it is telling you what they're doing mathematically. Now here's the other address here at 17 Fitzroy Street. And it doesn't appear as though the original building is any lo no longer there because there are no old buildings on the street corner that I could find. So um, we have pretty much proof that of the uh, satanic roots right here. And it links back to Buckingham Palace and the royalty in England. And also back to the family bloodline. Um, of the Bushes and the leadership in this country and as you guys know all of the presidents are related by blood except for a few but most of them except for three are related by blood so in other words their bloodline was sent to the United States to start the new colony and to lead it and we were never free to begin with it's all been controlled since the very beginning by the Queen of England and this satanic order Take care and be safe, you guys.